Well, you might think, uh, why do you do that, right? You, we're in a black, damp, muddy <laughs> hole. It's six degrees centigrade. And uh, I haven't seen the daylight since uh, five days. What's the reason why we do that? Well, uh, you'd be surprised to learn that it's actually pretty similar to space. Um, not in the very finest details, but in the overall environment. Uh, so we're surrounded here by a potentially dangerous uh, environment that's not very nice to live in. It's really actually pretty complex to live in. Uh, it's pretty yeah, inconvenient to be around here. And nevertheless, we come here to do science, to explore, to understand life on Earth better. We find new species, we find animals, plants that live down here, surprisingly make it uh, in such an environment. And we want to explore that, and that's going to be very similar to exploring the moon, for example. So in this training course, I had two roles. This part of this training course that we change roles. So in the first part, I was the camp manager. I was responsible for putting up uh, the campsite behind me. And in the second part of the course, I became the commander. Um, that was interesting for me because I just came back from space and I was the commander of the ISS, the space station up there. And to me, uh, it's surprising how many analogies uh, there are. Because uh, down here, uh, like on the space station, you live together with the crew, roughly six people, in which you have many different roles, right? You are not only the commander of, this, of the space station or of caves, but you really have to be functioning as a team member, right? You have to take care of your crew, you have to that's participate that's in that's science, in exploration, and so you have to sort of adapt your role several times a day and also during the course, because also on the ISS you arrive as a crew member before you become a commander. So you have to be a good follower in order to be a good leader. So as a commander, you actually want to listen to your team, uh, pull them for their ideas and uh, make sure that this gets focused in one direction and then uh, you come together as a team actually much stronger than six individuals and this is really useful to train down here. Uh, to me that's a fantastic environment in any case. I, I always imagine the cave is like this dark small little hole in the ground that you have to crawl through and some of sometimes the cave is really like that. Sometimes we have to crawl through passages that are really uh, as wide as I am. Uh, I can't even wear a backpack because it's so tight there. But then there's uh, caverns like these where 300 meters uh, below your feet uh, you could build a cathedral. And uh, we've been in several caverns today. We have been swimming from some to the next. And uh, you could build cities, uh, entire cathedrals, uh, <laughs> cities with skyscrapers down here. I had no idea that this was below my feet. So I'm uh, pretty amazed every single day.